Yeah, so welcome to Warim Ignatius Ohome YouTube channel for mathematics subject. So uh, today we are going to cover another question on topics similarity and enlargement. This is in form two. So I've already provided a question here on this board. And you're given a triangle, the figure below, you are told you are given uh, below P1, Q1 is an enlargement of P, Q. Now with the center O, the center of enlargement, center O. So you are told to find the scale factor of enlargement and we calculate the length of P1, Q1. So therefore, uh, I want to take this kind of a uh, square here. So there's a similar one that I've used to get this. So this is uh, the lighter triangle. And now here we have a, a small triangle. So therefore, it's like this one. Now this small triangle is this one. And then we have the lighter triangle. So when we deal, of, we deal with similarity, we talk of the same shape, but on different sizes. When you're talking of enlargement. So similarity and enlargement. So therefore, you compare this side. We are comparing the sides of the, the larger triangle and the small triangle. The corresponding sides. So when you want to find the, the scale factor of enlargement, in this case, the scale factor, scale factor for part A, scale factor for enlargement, this one will be the distance from O to P1, OP1, all over OP. Image over the object. Distance of the, the image to that of the object from the center of enlargement. So from O to P is 2. And O to P1, because this is 2, and P to P1 is 5, then OP is 7. And that is the scale factor of enlargement. That is the scale factor of enlargement. That is 2 over 7. That ratio here given here, the ratio of enlargement. You are comparing the scale factor the distance of the of, of the image from the center divided by the distance of the this point P from the that is the object from the center. So that is OP1 over OP equals to 2 over 7. So that is the scale factor of enlargement. That's what you are finding. As you can see it's a fraction of B. Calculate the length of P1 Q1. Right? P1 Q1. The line P1, Q1. So in this case, what you have this kind of a triangle, this kind of triangle, you need to compare the larger triangle and the small triangle. And this, we have this one. For you to get the initial, the initial factor, we have got this 2 over 7. That is the length of the small triangle. All over the, the length of the larger triangle, the corresponding side, the similar corresponding side, this one and this. Therefore, there, all you do, to find this one, to find the length of P1, Q1, again you need to take, you say, the scale factor this one, the P1, Q1, all over PQ, is equal to, again, the scale factor. So P1, Q1, all over PQ. So you take this one as 2 over 7. You take that one as 7. Take that one as 7. So therefore, this is 3. Is 3. So you say, P1, Q1, all over 7, all over 3, all over 3 is equal to 2 over 7. Equals to 2 over 7. So therefore, how do you get P1, Q1? So you are supposed to multiply by 3. Okay, by 3 there. So divide this and this, you get P1, Q1, you get 6 divided by 7. And because it is length, it is length, you can't divide it in fraction. So you divide 6 divided by 7. And in this case, this becomes 0 0.8571 centimeters. So therefore, we give it as that 0 0.8571 centimeters. So that is how you did that kind of question. When you want to compare that kind of a question, you want to get the scale factor of enlargement. So that's what you do. That's what you do. And this is a form two question. So on the topic, similarity and enlargement. 
So therefore, that is how you find the scale factor of enlargement. And that is how you find the length of P1, Q1. So remember to subscribe at the end of the lesson to Marim Ignatius Wahome YouTube channel after this. So welcome again for more lessons. Karibu sana.